This is an artificial intelligence type of video where I'm going to be talking about the new update of the chat GPT. So they released a new model, which is chat GPT 4.0. And I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know and the new updates. What is the chat GPT capable of doing now? I'm going to show you how to get it, how to use it and how to benefit from chat GPT 4.0. Artificial intelligence is blowing the world right, right now. And if you lose this time, you're going to lose a lot. So let's get straight into it. So here I got the chat GPT. And from now, as you can see, they changed the link to chatgpt.com not anymore openai.chatgpt.com so here we have the models i have already purchased the model of the chat gpt plus which uh, includes all the models and uh, also extra models that you can use and here we got the new model which is G gpt 4.0 we have gpt 4 and gpt 3.5 which a lot of people have available so the first thing that you need to know is that people with free account can still access it with a limited with a limited time per day. So but if you create a new account here or you already have a free account, you may see that you have a, a window which shows you that you can get the chat GPT 3.5 to test it or you can send some inputs and test it what it does. So here is something that you can use it with limited about 10. I'm not sure but about 10 or 15 props or messages a day. So the first thing is that is a lot a lot faster than GPT 3.5 and GPT GPT-4 with a new speed and advanced so it's very really really fast actually 3.5 is a lot faster but with a less information but GPT-4.0 has a lot new information so here now with GPT-4 we have uh, we can include some files which you can upload and you can upload different files images you can upload uh, short gifs you can upload codes you can upload excel powerpoint all different files and chat gpt is going to uh, analyze all of them if i just click on this excel file for example and just tell it uh, can you explain what's inside so it directly showed me a preview of the excel file here and it's going to show you that it's a csv file it contains list of proxies which entry appears to include in the following format it also shows you format and everything generate or can analyze all the different files data files and all the things so but also you can generate the image generation is a lot different like okay so we tried the image generation which i asked can you generate an image of bugatti in albania and let's see what it does okay so as you can see it generated a really good image and is a lot faster actually as you can see the time is a lot faster than the gpt for normal version and one new feature that you can do is just click the image you can directly download from here or you can ask to for modifications here to generate new images you have this the chat in the side also there is something that you can click on this icon to select a part of the image here we have a selector which is uh like as you can see is a circle and if i make it bigger you can select more uh image and if i make a smaller a uh, less area in the image so i'm gonna make it big and i'm going to select all the part of the bugatti here or the car and i'm going to say to chat gpt so now that i have selected make sure to select a good area of the image because sometimes it doesn't get what you want to do and now that I have selected this area and it, in the edit selection i can just ask a new query i can give something else like can you replace this car with a bike and now it's going to get my prop and it's going to make the modifications in the image in the selected area only it did replace only the image of the car as you can see we have a bike now we have a bike now and is really perfect a perfect alignment and everything else is like really good really perfect the background doesn't even change but the image of the car have changed so this is what the new gpt4 always capable of doing so they also added something else which is really good for analytics and for doing really good job in to help you a lot in job and also in studying something else that can do is to to show the datas in the graphs you can put do different graphs and different datas how you can do this i'm going to tell you now i'm going to generate first some data from chat gpt because i don't have an excel file but you can uh, upload an excel file and you can ask it to, to generate some charts from it generate some data uh, about inflation each month and generate some graphs okay so i asked to generate some data about the inflations and uh, for each month it's just a random data just to show you that 
uh, it works and it can show you graphs. So it's right now it's analyzing. We got really good graph here. We have the Excel file here. And if I click on download table, it's going to download me an Excel or a CSV in this case. And we have all the data for each month and also inflation rate and percentage. And here I also asked to generate the graph and uh, in the graph, it's a really good graph. You can, you can tell it for different graphs if you want. And if I click here, uh, we can switch the static chart and it's different type of chart. And also we can change the color to the something else. And also we can download this chart is a PNG file. And if I open it, here is the perfect graph that you can use for the PNG file. You can also tell to change different graphs, different type of graph or presentation of the data. And I can tell it, can you generate a pie chart for this, these data? Okay, as you can see, we got a pie chart on this case and it shows you with colors all the months and with the data. And also if you hold over it, you can see that uh, it's going to show you all the cases and everything, all the data inside them. And also as it, as before, you can change it and show you on different type and also change the settings for the colors and download it as a PNG file. Something else which is really mind blowing is that you can tell ChatGPT to generate files, to generate code, you can download the these files directly from ChatGPT. So you just tell it to, to generate a download link and it's going to give you the download link for these files. So I'm going to show you an example right now. If I tell it ChatGPT to create a 3D object inside inside a HTML file and give me the download link for this file. So it's going to generate the code of the HTML and then it should give me the link to download directly on my computer. Okay, so click here to download the file. If I click on download, actually file not found for now, but I'm going to tell it again, please generate again because it's not working. Okay. So now if I click, oh, it actually the download is blocked here. I'm going to allow it. Then if I click again, Okay, so we got the, it downloaded. And if I click on the 3D cube HTML, created an HTML file, a 3D, it's it's done all automatically. You can just tell it to create any file that are directly downloaded. For example, uh, create an Excel file and a PowerPoint point file with a project about, about inflation in 2023. And give me download links for both. Okay, so we got two download links. The first is the Excel. And if I click on download, it downloaded the Excel sheet. And if I open it here, we got the inflation rates for each of them. And also we got, we should have a PowerPoint. So download the PowerPoint presentation. And here we got the presentation. If I open it, we got just three slides because we didn't mention or we didn't tell ChatGPT what to do. You can create different files for you without you need to copy information, just give you the download link directly. So these was some of the features that ChatGPT have right now or the GPT 4.0. Also, they did announce here GPT 4.0. They announced in the portal a lot of new features that are going to be uh, uploaded or in the next in the next few weeks. Uh, ChatGPT with camera. He is showing the environment as going to tell you in the real time what is happening. And also they did release the, the app for the desktop for the Mac, which I will show you in the next video, in another video, how you can do it, how you can download it. And also the image generation is a lot faster you can uh, as you can see it can evaluate data and show you in the graphs and a lot new different models new different languages and a lot new features so this was a video for today guys hope you like it please smash the like button if you like it uh, subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one